Well, goddamn, I hope you glorious bastards out there having a good one. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Peak of Combat, or better known as Wallet May Cry, Peak of Greed. The game just does its best to try to separate your cash from your wallet and make you cry. And I'm your host, as always, Fox Soul, and we're going to be discussing Royal Guard Dante. Straight to the point. And I'm going to go ahead and try to expressly tell you how good this, this unit actually is. What I'm doing with the unit. How I plan to build this unit. And we're going to actually take the time to compare this unit against Devil Crusher as well as Fist of Salvation Dante. In terms of shield breaking efficiency and... Yeah, you know what? Literally, let's just, let's just get into this conversation. Where's your motivation? So. I already know that this is going to end up being one of those videos that might cause some. Some controversy in the channel, especially in the comment section when I'm going to end up saying certain things such as Royal Guard is better because of this reason compared to said other characters. And I wanted to make it clear before we get started that even though we're going to do some comparisons, all units in this game, except for Holy Order, Holy Order Nero, in my personal opinion, but all units in this uh, game pretty much are good units. It's just the way you build the unit, it's the way you handle the unit that makes it universal to your play style. For me, I am going to be talking about Royal Guard Dante. We've been using him. We've actually been doing some quite a bit of damage with him. And then we discover some things which makes him statistically a better shield crusher, a better, sh better overall damage type character. So let's first, like always, let's go into the talents because, you know, there's a lot of people out there in this world that don't bother to go read their, their talents on their character they don't go read their passives they don't go read their skills and this is where you know a lot of people don't build properly so let's take a look at rank b while we're in devil trigger and it's and it's not active excuse me while devil trigger is not active hitting a target with a basic attack restores 16 mp if the size ranks s it gains an additional six percent of four percent so that makes it 20 mp with every basic attack that you're hitting especially if it's at s rank pretty good when it comes to the perfect block after activating uh i guess it's gonna be kappa kappa pura let's see let's use let's use google real quick capoeira capoeira after activating Capoeira, you gain an additional 108 MP. Going into S rank, quickly break shields. Increasing shield breakage efficiency by 190% and its damage uh, and its damage is by 10%. Royal release can immediately shatter 10% of a target's damaged red shield. So starting at S rank, what makes this skill really good in a total in the total realm of everything because this actually starts building up royal guard has the highest the highest at 190 percent shield efficiency break with royal release meaning compared to devil Tr uh, devil crusher compared to fist of salvation royal guard is at 190 percent you're not going to get that in an ex version of devil crusher meaning that royal guard yes when you first pull him he is actually the best shield breaking character for the red shields. As well as when Royal Re with Royal Release, this right here immediately shattering 10% of a target's damaged red shield, meaning that 10%, unlike any other character that goes ahead and destroys shields, he's already immediately took 10% off before the 190% of it is coming in. Okay, so before his shield efficiency come in, every time he's doing a royal release, that's ten percent coming off, and that actually grows. As you can see, we're at SS plus right now. Okay, going into SS. While Royal Guard is in the lineup, and I about it, he gains an additional forty-five MP every second. While Royal Guard is 
in battle or just in the lineup, he automatically gains 20% rage every second and gain an additional 10 rage every time Royal Guards hit with an attack. Cooldown's eight seconds. When we get to S plus, the one we get, you know, our increased shield efficiency by 190, but we get it at 20% instant shield breakage. Meaning that right there, think of it like this: the shield's at a hundred percent. Okay. And if we got our Royal Guard to SS plus, 20% times what guys? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, five times can immediately that's means that the shield's gone after five royal releases. Okay. But it even gets better than that. The more you dupe the character. When you get to SSS, we get powerful support after royal release, it hits a target, applies sentence on the target, increases the crit damage of that target that takes by 10 by 26% for the next 10 seconds. When we get to SSS plus. The final form of quickly break shields is now at 30%. So with all the damage you're doing, the, the, the immediately shattering 30% out of a out of a shield at 100 percent Two of those is 60%. You've already taken out the shield with two Roy releases by 60%. Like the character is designed much heavily around destroying shields and that of devil crusher as well as that of fist of salvation statistically speaking when we get to ex enhanced devil trigger we immediately restore rage to max when we activate devil trigger and while devil trigger we gain 100 rage every second which that's our ex version for us we're just an ss for me okay Weapons they use is the pacifist hell right now. I think it was the cloud strikers originally or no, or was that for fist of salvation? Not quite sure. I don't remember. I think it was cloud strikers, which was the exclusive, but we're using the universal version of hell weapon, which is doing good work for us. Uh, currently our buffs as you know, we gain an additional 200 MP or explosiveness upon entering battle as well as our overall damage increased by 7% for a one star pacifist hell. Not a big deal. Cards that I am working on using. These are not the, full card set because we're still pulling cards actually if you saw my stand on meter before we're gonna be pulling cards later tonight to try to build this up but the idea of what we're looking for is physical damage cards okay we're really looking for physical damage overall damage precisely with him in attack crit damage crit rate is great if you can add it on there in my personal opinion because there is some things that crit damage does have an effect on when it does happen, you'll see some, you'll see a huge spike in damage. But when it comes down to it, every attack is based on physical damage. We are using the Phantom Card set, not the Bear Wolf set, because first and foremost, this character can cause bleed. It's not as efficient, but it does happen with this character. So he does work really well within a physical team, like with Virgil. And, you know, normal Dante, he can even work really well with Swift Arsenal and Dante. It depends on how you want to do it. But my team that we use is quote unquote called the Space Obliteration Team, uh, which is Virgil, Demon Hunter Dante and Royal Guard. So this is the reason why we're building physical damage on the character mostly. And it's doing really well for us because we already get, you know, inflicting a total damage on the ground, 678.6 physical damage. While in air, we get 313.8. And you can see that everything, basically all, like even Thomas Maneuver and everything, everything is based on physical damage. Okay? So that's the reason why we're building this. Now, when it comes into our passive skills that we're going to be going to look at here, this is another thing that a lot of people, you know, completely miss sometimes. You know, Extreme Leap increases, you know, physical damage for 10% for 8 seconds with a 30 second cooldown triumph after Eden entering an extreme counter increased the physical damage for six seconds for the next five seconds uh our qte you know after activating what uh cup of or whatever we gain a 108 mp but that's not what we're going to be worried about what we're going to be really worried about is for us you know this is a full set you know, still physical damage, perfect release. You know, it's not when there is enough rage, inflicting 108 physical damage when rage is at max. 
we are also seeing the 708.16 physical damage. But when we get into passive skills, we increase Royal, Ra uh, Royal Guard's shield breaking efficiency by 38% upon entering the battle with and increase Royal Guard's max HP by 162%. After inflicting, you know, damage for release or raw release or perfect release, all hunters on the lineup gain 25 decrease in damage taken and increase their tenacity for the next 19 seconds. With their passive skill, you know, with his passive skill, Royal Guard, this is right here. In the battle on the lineup, automatically gains 20%. This is with, you know, the S plus on him. Or the SS, excuse me. Well, I want you to notice something. You see how it says right here, we increase Royal Guard's shield uh, breaking efficiency by 38%. When we get the character, he's already got, you know, increased shield freaking uh, efficiency by 190. We also get an additional 38% on top of that. Now, I'm going to go do something before we go into training and we go take a look at the character. I'm going to go compare this to Devil Crusher. Now, I want to be stated that Devil Crusher is still a damn good unit. He still breaks shields really fucking well, and he's honestly going to be the first character you technically will EX as a free-to-play character. If you haven't pulled Royal Guard, Devil Crusher is the way to go. Devil Crusher is, is not something to shy away on. But Devil Crusher versus Royal Guard, even at S. But his passive skills, he's only got a shield-breaking efficiency of 105%. We go look at his talent real quick on, you know, shield breaking, just like we did with Royal Guard. At S. You know, shield breaking on Hell and Earth is up by 175%. Nowhere near 190. Grant you, we gained, you know, 255 MP. Increase the damage by 207. Increase efficiency by charge attack by 75%. Increase shield breaking efficiency of Devil Crusher. By 60%, so forth. And then I, that grows all the way into SSS Plus, where shield efficiency only goes to caps out at 105. Devil Crusher, like I said, as a free to play unit, this is not enough. This is also a damn good unit. What's really good about Devil Crusher that can be more comparable to Royal Guard, that Royal Guard does kind of lack in, is the fact that he can build MP like a son of a bitch. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, basically, like, Royal Guard's 100 times better than Devil Crusher. They both are extremely good units. It's just that Royal Guard, to me, is a really good character that does shield crushing and does a lot of fucking damage as well. And it's actually pretty fucking easy to use. To me, he has more tricks up his sleeve than Devil Crusher does. And I know a lot of people are going to say, no, that's not true. That's not true. You don't know how to play Devil Crusher. The thing is, is that when it comes to Royal Guard, we have Thomas Maneuver, which is his little spinny spinny right here. We have a launcher from it. Like that. We have a launcher. We do have the downwards, you know, kick dive, dive kick that he, that he comes up with. We do have the raw we do have the royal release which at max is 190 percent shield is breaking the efficiency but additionally on top of the 38 percent that goes on top of that another 38 percent that goes on top of that we also have a 10 percent right now at this point in time where 10 percent that shield's automatically gone and when you dupe the character which Eventually, you will, even as a free-to-play character, you will get, you know, free-to-play player, you will get this character eventually. And you'll eventually get shards, and you'll eventually dupe it. It'll take time. But Royal Guard legitimately will get to the point to where when you do a Royal release, that will be over 60%. You'll be about, like, 80% shield break. And then you'll still be attacking, and then by that time you do it again, the shield's completely gone. Royal Guard plays more as a defensive-based character, unlike that of Devil, Devil Crusher. We, instead of having a dodge mechanic like this, we have a parry. Royal Devil Crusher, you can see, has a dodge mechanic. 
But does not mean that devil that you know does not mean that Royal Guard is not a mobile character. Because again, our Royal Release kind of acts like a dodge. That does damage. It can be done in the air. It can be tagged on with, you know, an actual devil trigger that produces even more damage. And it works really well. I personally find that this character, in term, in all honesty, is a very well-rounded character. That if you lost the 50-50, you were trying to get, you know, Endless Judgment Virgie, you were trying to get Devil Bringer, you're trying to get V, and you ended up getting Royal Guard. You should actually consider Royal Guard being an easy character to learn, an easy character to play. He's basically straightforward, straight attack, with a parry. That parry helps build the rage meter even faster. Basic attacks help build that rage meter. And it works in general. The character in general is actually not that hard to use. Compared to, you know, Devil Crusher, there is no air combos. There's no air combos. You only get a kick dash, a dive kick. That's all you get from it. That's not a bad thing. But when you're fighting something like the fucking, the fucking KFC fucking chicken on the boss raid, you know, it's kind of hard to maintain any kind of air attacks whatsoever you, your only real reliance is going to be on your swords which has a 10 second cooldown whereas royal guard in the air has a combo string that he can do he can still do royal guard in the air he can do his dive kick I mean, overall, this character, this unit is really good at doing two different things. It's a really great unit for shield breaking. It's a really good unit to go ahead to be using as more as a defensive character. If you played Royal Guard from Del May Cry 3, Del May Cry 4, Del May Cry 5, this Royal Guard is not as powerful, but it does the job. It really does. This, Royal, this version of Dante is not a bad character. I actually dismissed him a long time ago. So I didn't really like the way he plays style. You know, I went with, you know, Fist of Salvation. But out of all three of them going through a live stream and getting arguments back and forth, Royal Guard versus, you know, Devil Crusher and Fist of Salvation, I have to put Royal Guard as the top rank. As a f the next one coming in would have to be Devil Crusher with Fist of Salvation being the weakest one in terms of breaking shields, in terms of really doing much damage, in a sense. I, it's not to say that the units aren't good. It's just that at this point in time, we haven't built the units up, you know, per se. I've seen Devil Crushers screw me over in boss raids because they just destroy a shield instantaneously because of the way they are built. But... I can also tell you that statistically speaking, if you build Royal Guard, and from what we're reading, Royal Guard would be the better character, the better unit to use in certain cases on a physical team. But if you don't have Royal Guard, Devil Crusher is just as good and can be very much compared to that of Royal Guard in a lot of different styles. So... Take it from there. This is a short little video, a little bit longer because we did explain a little bit more about stuff. So I do apologize about that. Hopefully you guys like the video and all in, in all the cases, guys, hit me up on the live streams. We do them here on this channel practically daily. I'm not sure about tonight. If you see this video today is, you know, Valentine's Day. I'm, if we come on, it'll be probably around two o'clock in the morning when the game resets, maybe a little bit earlier just to get some, some missions done. But yeah, I mean, I read you guys' comments. I read you guys when you come into the live stream. I like to be more proactive in, you know, I should be responding to comments, but I feel better doing it in a live stream because we can have a conversation. Don't, hey, come at me, guys. Come tell me the Devil Crush is better. Let's discuss it. Maybe there's something I'm missing, but everything that I've seen so far and I've read so far, 
and the way we're building Royal Royal Guard because I'm going with the Phantom Card set over the Bear Wolf set, and it's working out tremendously well for me. It's working out well for my team. It's doing great. Let me know your thoughts down below and come check us out on our live streams. Make sure you hit that notification bell or come join the Discord and you'll be alerted when we do those live streams. Until next time, catch you on the flip side. Yeah.